Shabbat Shalom. Uh, surely you, you've noted beautiful additions to the Beit Midrash, the uh, phenomenal, phenomenal Sfarim. I acknowledge those who have participated in the Gufam of Mamunam. Um, of course, acknowledge Mr. Ganun who has donated some of these Sfarim to be of use, and of course, those who are able to help to get them here, uh, Rafi and Denu Nisim put in a lot of effort yesterday in carrying these Sfarim, phenomenal amount. The Shulchan Aruch tells us, Maran writes in Siman Kufnun, that the building of a Beit Knesset is a communal obligation. We've studied this on Sunday mornings. The building of a Beit Knesset is a communal obligation, but it doesn't stop there. It's not merely to procure the space to pray and to gather that is a communal obligation, but also Maran writes that the Bnei Kila, Yecholim Lachof, they can force each other, they can compel each other to also donate and to provide Sifrei Torah, Nevim Uktuvim. That the Sfarim of Tanakh, also, that's a communal obligation that each person has to participate in. The Mishnah Burah brings down that the reason why it was limited to Sifrei Torah, Nevim Uktuvim is because, obviously, in the old days, it was not allowed to write down Torah Sheh Be'alpeh. And therefore, the only Sfarim that were able to be written down, were allowed to be written down, were, were, were the Sifrei Tanakh. And therefore, we have to make sure that it's available for everybody to, to study. And therefore, there was a communal obligation. But Biyamenum, in our times, we're, we are allowed to write down Torah Sheh Be'alpeh, the obligation extends. It's not just the Sifrei Torah, Tanakh, Torah, Nevim, Tuvim, but it's the obligation of the Kehillah to make sure that there are Sfarim available, the Mishnah Burah, the Talmud, the Mishnayot, the Pirushim, for everybody to learn. Khatam Sofer has a remarkable teshuvah. He writes that it's a person who donates Sfarim or makes Sfarim available for the Kehillah, books of Torah study that are available at all times. Pasuk says, Sitkato omedet la'ad, that it is Tzedakah, his charity, endures forever because it's a, a round-the-clock chesed, it's a round-the-clock staka. A person can come in any time, and he can study the Torah, he can improve their understanding of the Torah. This is something which is tzidkato omedet la'an. Hatam Sofer goes so far as to say that a person who donates farim to Beit Knesset, though, and there's also a need in the kila to build a mikveh, we're not allowed to sell the farim in order to build the mikveh. Because although the building of the mikveh is a great mitzvah, he calls it mitzvah zutahi, it is a small mitzvah in comparison to the value of the Sfarim being available for those who are learning in the Kila, for the Kila to be able to study those, those Sfarim. So therefore, we want to give a big chazak to everybody who made it possible, certainly for providing the Sfarim, bring them into the Beit Knesset, Bezad Hashem. It shouldn't just be that they are here, they should Bezad Hashem be worn out, worn out with uh, usage. And we have, like I say, the, the Mesif to Gemarot and the full arts, full shas and other things. People should come around the Kehillah B'ezal Hashem to make use of these Farimah. Hazak Allah, Rabbi Hanimah Kasha Omer. Hazak Allah, Baruch Hu, Zakot, Zatik, Achal Ben Hanimah.